Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of August 2020. All right, Pisces. Okay, so for some of you guys, I do see new love coming around you. I do see a lot of people that are really looking towards you or very interested in you. You're going to be experiencing, I want to say from now all the way to the middle of September, more people coming into your life. And we're talking about new energies. This is no one that you currently know or that you're dealing with right now. Although, if you have met someone uh, within the past week, then very well, this could be their energy. But I do see new people coming in and really gravitating towards you. Now, what we have here is getting to know each other. We have the flirt card. Stay optimistic about your love life. Worth waiting for and very soon. Now, these are energies of spirit letting you know that it is important to take your time when getting to know someone or when opening up to someone. Now, if there was a recent separation, some type of distancing of a partner, I do see reconciliation because we do have reconciliation down here and very soon could actually start to unfold uh, by the end of this week. So again, if there was some type of separation, some type of distancing from a partner or relationship, what they're telling you is not to give up. Um, getting to know each other symbolizes um, many different things but i think the message here the overall message here is when dealing with partnerships or when dealing with people that you consider um, may turn into something more long term it is important to get to know them uh, to really get to know them now i feel that for those of you guys that have or currently are dealing with a separation and you're waiting or wanting some type of reconciliation i feel that there's still certain aspects or attributes of your partner that you don't really you didn't really understood or perhaps you didn't really know so it, it's almost like um duality in them and i see that in the unfolding uh remaining of the month i see them like really going out of their way to try to show you that different side uh perhaps if you often seen them as weak weak not in a negative way but weak in a in an aspect of extremely emotional extremely needy um, and to you that's a representation of weakness you might you might start to notice them a little bit more aggressive you might start to notice them uh, notice them a little bit more reserved um, taking a step back not to walk away from you but to give you that space and you start to gravitate back towards them because they're showing you this side that they've never shown you before because they're telling me something about like opening your eyes. So it could be that you start to see, like I said, as an example, if uh, they were too needy or they were constantly uh, wanting to communicate, et cetera, et cetera, you may start to notice that they start to distance or they stop to um, not necessarily communicate on everyday basis and that's gonna be throwing you off. And the reason for that is, again, not in a malice way, but I feel that they want to give you, they want to respect you enough to give you that space. Um, and that's quickly, it's kind of like, and, and it's unfortunate to be honest, but oftentimes when you're in a relationship and the partner tends to overdo and go above and beyond, sometimes we take them for granted or sometimes we, we grow tired of that because it's not really a challenge. So when they start to kind of grow cold, that's when you start to crav gravitate back towards them. Uh, why? I have no idea, but oftentimes most people, especially if you're vibrating to a very low frequency, um, you are more into the, uh, you may have more needs of wanting to be in a relationship that is extremely toxic, uh, not because you're actively looking for toxic partnerships, but because people oftentimes mistake uh, intense type of passionate relationships that do often tend to be toxic. Um, they often confuse that with like passionate 
uh, love or intense feelings and it's not necessarily the case uh, but I feel that in this situation you the partner may start to do certain things that they didn't do before where you start to kind of fear or grow fear of losing them now this could be vice versa because it is a general reading nonetheless I do see a reconciliation for those of you guys where there's been some type of separation now, for those of you guys that are single, like I said, I do see love around you. But what they're telling you is you got to make sure that the, the messages that you're sending out is exactly what you want. So what I what I mean by that, a lot of the times we say, yes, I want love. Yes, this. Yes, that. Um, but then you, you know, put on social media or you try to come off as very independent, a man that doesn't need love or a woman that is very independent, she doesn't need a man. So you're sending two different signals. If what you're wanting to bring into you is a genuine um, committed relationship, then it's time you start acting that way, Pisces. And what they're telling you here is stop being so confused. Uh, put out the intention or the energy of what you're wanting and absolutely stay optimistic about it. Uh, worth waiting for if you guys feel like, uh, you know, love hasn't been very kind to you. Um, it's important to understand that oftentimes it's it's sometimes when we are currently like an example, if you've been single for over a year or something like that, um, it's not about getting agitated or aggravated that there's no changes. Oftentimes when there's no changes, that spirit's way of slowing you down and letting you know, hey, Pisces, you got to do some work. You got to work within yourself uh, to be prepared for the person that's coming in. Okay. All right. And the energies that are currently influencing or affecting you at the present time, we have the numinous um, mystery. This is all to do with the unknown. Pay attention to your intuition, Pisces. I feel that the person that's coming in, you're going to gravitate very strongly towards them. I think it's a very spiritual connection here uh, because we do also have the 11th house. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aquarius or, or an Aquarius is going to be making their presence known um, in, in the unfolding weeks. Now, this is to do with friendship, with groups, creativity, community, humanity, hope, tribe. Um, 11th house is a very spiritual house. Um, and with the mystery card here, uh, with the numinous card, uh, this is all to do with uh, connect, connecting with uh, higher beings, connecting with people that are very elevated in the spiritual nature, uh, people that are very intuitive, uh, having prophetic dreams, anything like that. Pay attention to that. And like I said, um, don't be surprised if an Aquarius person does make their self uh, known to you in the coming weeks. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be all the way to September. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.